Ba da ba da 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 da. So currency devaluation really bothers me. The dollar exchange rate is steady still. <laughs> Sammy, what's wrong? Dear colleague, I saved a couple of dollars and I'm thinking where I could invest. Oh, interesting. I don't want to sponsor any kind of swindlers or unpromising startuppers. I have a good option in mind, but I'm worried about the cash back. Huh, how about getting the cash back in Gumball? I must admit, this is a very tempting offer. Moreover, I'm ready to take the deal right now. Then get ready to invest your savings into a sheepy bank. Let's go. I guess this craft will be a long-term investment of my money. Hey, hello guys. Today we're going to make a cool sheepy bank with a gumball vending machine. Great cash back. All banks should consider this option. First, I made a couple of templates. Five tablets with round holes on the edge. Uh, are you sure a gumball fits in there and doesn't get stuck? Of course, Sammy. I drew a circle around the gumball on our cardboard beforehand. The hole I made is even a little larger. Now we apply the glue to the base of each tablet. And add a little bit of magic. Hop. Nice and neat. Impressive. But I still don't understand how we get a sheet from this. Be patient, Sam. You're an economist after all. We've got a construction like this. And the gumball still fits in perfectly. Now let's make a fastening. Insert a sharp stick approximately in the middle and cut off the tips like this. Done! I also made another similar template. But it's not for gumballs. It's for coins. Huh. And what's the difference? There's not just a round hole at its edge, but a hole with an angled cardboard. So the coin rolls down nicely. Sam, it's time to make the sheet. We need to cut some walls for the base out of cardboard. Can you do it? I can manage important economical issues. You really think I can't handle the cardboard? <laughs> okay, I believe you. Take all the necessary stuff and check out the dimensions in my notebook. We'll be done, boss. Oh, wait, huh? I can't do it right now. What? I can't proceed with our craft until you give us a thumbs up. So, hmm, they're much better. Now I'm on it. In the meantime, I'm going to finish the main mechanism. Let's place the wooden rim around the hole for our coins and fix this part with super glue. There and here. Easy. Now we can connect the tablet for gumballs with the tablet for coins, getting a unified mechanism. Here, the construction is done. So soon my money is materializing. Uh, Sam, I don't get it. Did you cut out the walls for a sheepy bank? So that's what I'm talking about. Here. Here are the first, second, and third platforms. And some walls for our sheepy bank. Great job, Sammy. Since you did so good, turn around for a second, please. Huh, what's that? Turn back. I brought your work to perfection. Not bad, Sue. Let's get this piece done and set up our construction so everything is perfect. Here's another wall. Thanks. There we go. Now we need to make the main mechanism of our construction. It will push out the gumballs. Pay attention that we removed the upper cardboard layer here. It reminds me of a swing for two. Yay! <laughs> Let's call it a swing for cash back. We also have some wooden parts. Let's glue them together as well. Very carefully. Now this is the base of our mechanism. Oh, it's sort of our sheep's brain, since it will perform the general work. Well, in a way. <laughs> Sam, you're very creative. You bet. Business is all about creativity. Let's get back to the filling of our sheep. Let's add a small wooden holder for the rubber band. And glue it to the main construction, of course. I put the rubber band onto the mechanism, correct? Absolutely. We need to put the ready wooden mechanism here where we made this special hole. Oh, that's why we needed it. This construction will give us the cash back. So, I saw something else in your notebook and made a little more than you asked for. I cut the templates from popsicle sticks. Sammy, you're amazing. Let's glue them into our sheepy bank. I just want to help you. In that case, let's use magic. 
guys, the last one we glue crosswise. There. Now here we put the cardboard platforms. And insert the popsicle sticks. They'll be the lever of our pushing mechanism. Now, let's place a small cardboard piece on top. And… Ouch! Sam, what does this mean? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Why do you need another rubber band to lash up dollar bills? Oh, Sammy, don't rush. There's still one important part to put. While the rubber band is for the other side of the coin bank, let's glue the wooden fastenings. And the second one. This mechanism is so crafty. Now tie them with these rubber bands, which actually hit quite painfully. Sorry, I won't do it again. Can we check out the work of the whole mechanism? <laughs> sure, let's throw the gumballs into our cash back section. Now I insert the coin, pull the lever, and get an instant cash back. Perfect! So we just need to turn this mechanism into a sheep? Correct. We're going to do it right now. I have a task for you as well. I'm ready! But first, we need to cover the mechanism from the other side with cardboard like this. Let's also put another fastening. And pull the rubber bands on the other side. Now, we'll need cardboard circles. First, let's cut out the actual circle. And the hole for the mechanism. You should make seven more pieces like this and glue them one by one. Can you do it? It's easier than counting the annual inflation. I'm not. Meanwhile, I'll get to the appearance of our sheep. So, it's time to make our coin bank look like a sheep. I already drew the contour of our sheep's face on the cardboard. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Cut the face out carefully. And as you can see, guys, I made the ears very big on purpose. Guys, I made the sheep's wool from a regular cloth. How do you like it? <gasps> Here comes Sam. I can't believe he's already done. I had to recall a couple of new formulas and techniques, but I'm ready to present my work, Susie. You did great, Sammy. Now we can glue the face. Look, the coin bank is starting to look like a sheep. Huh, it really reminds me of something. Uh, did I mop the floor with this yesterday? <laughs> Good point. It's really made out of a cloth. And it's time to make our sheep warm. Here's the secret. We can always open the zipper and load new candies inside. It reminds me of a wireless speaker with a lock. Don't forget that it is a sheep, not a woolen speaker. And it has legs. Let's glue them well. I already glued the second, the third, and the fourth. Let's hurry up and finish it! I can't wait! <laughs> Hold on a little. We need to paint it as well. Let's mix the necessary colors. Okay, I'm gonna go do something else. Step aside. Here comes a great decorator! <laughs> <sighs> We just need to attach everything to our sheep. My finances urgently need a safe storage! And my soul wants the cash back, so let's speed up and finish it! First coin into the sheep. All right. Got it. But I have more coins. Let's see. Here's the second one. You can never have too much cash back. Hey, 
Hey, don't get carried away there. Okay, I'll throw in the rest of my coins later. It's more fun to save this way. All the cash back I will use right now. Guys, thanks for watching. Try to make this cool sheepy bank yourself. Absolutely, you won't regret it. But first, subscribe to our channel and before pressing the sheep's nose, hit the bell button under the video. Looking at our sheep eating the coins, I'm thinking it's time for us to have a snack too, Sue. <laughs> yes, until you take all the cash back just for yourself. Guys, enjoy your meal and your craft. Bye bye.